Guess how many meat additives are used in the United States today? 100? 200? 1,000? Try 4,000. That's right, 4,000 meat additives. And with a number like this, it can be nearly impossible to understand how every single one of them work and how they function. So instead of covering all 4,000, today I'm just going to cover the top three that I feel are the most relevant to you as consumers, but also the most beneficial. So with that, let's jump into our first additive, sodium nitrite. Now, sodium nitrite, you've probably heard of this at one time or another. It is used to help preserve and cure meat products, and it's also responsible for giving some meat products, like bacon and ham, that characteristic pink color. And not only does it do that, but it also helps control and actually prevent the growth of harmful pathogenic bacteria, including Clostridium botulinum, which can cause botulism in humans, which is a rare but very, very deadly disease. So sodium nitrite, it helps make sure that that bacteria stays out of your meat. Now moving on to the next additive, propyl gallate. Now propyl gallate, it's an antioxidant, and it helps prevent rancidity in products such as in rendered fat or sausage. And propyl gallate, it can be used in conjunction with other antioxidants, which leads me to my third and final additive, BHA. Now BHA, it's also an antioxidant, and it functions pretty much the same way that propyl gallate does. It helps prevent the, the rancidity of fats and products such as rendered fat, sausage, dried meats, Again, anything with fat, it'll help keep that fat from going rancid. And BHA, it also helps protect some of the nutrients found in meat, such as vitamin A. And if you think about it, vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin. So theoretically, if you protect the fat from going bad, from spoiling, then you can protect those fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A from going bad. And hopefully you can kind of notice a, a theme here. These additives, they're not added for nothing. You know, they weren't created by evil scientists and big meat corporations to, to poison us and to, and to make us sick just to make a quick buck. No. Every single additive has a purpose, whether it's to maintain meat quality or prevent the growth of bacteria. Every single additive is used to help benefit the consumer. And if it didn't, there wouldn't be a reason for it to be added in the first place. Because at the end of the day, meat additives are used to help people, not hurt them. This is Longbro, signing off.